Okay, in this video I'd like to show how the Beta Blocker Spirit Radio is actually light sensitive. This is the Beta Blocker Spirit Radio. It has a couple of antennas and a very simple um, uh, crystal radio type circuit inside with a diode, a resistor, a couple of capacitors and a small coil. Now I've noticed that um, when light is shined onto the inside of the box and my software is tuned to uh, specific frequencies and uh, certain modules that I get an effect. Okay, what I'm going to show is the laser. I've got a laser tachometer here and I'm going to play it on the uh, on the uh, spirit radio here. Now let's try it and see. <laughs> okay, that's from a couple of feet away. Now I'm going to go at the other end of the house. It's about uh, maybe 30 feet away, about uh, probably 10 meters. from the hip. Here's a shot from the hip too. So, laser affects the spirit radio. Now, have a small flashlight, pen light flashlight. see when when the lights move the effects what's happening is the diode inside there's a tiny diode right along there and that's being affected by the light and even this little pen light from two feet away can still affect the uh, the diode have it have an effect even as much as five feet away now that's interesting now what happens when we take an ordinary light bulb on AC and bring it close that's the effect of an AC light Here, I'll shut off the light, you'll hear the difference. Cool, huh? The spirit radio is sensitive to not only radio waves and sound waves, but also light and several different types and frequencies. The white light responds like this. The uh, infrared uh, laser light responds like this. And the light bulb, 60 watt light bulb, responds with a, a harmonic of the 60 cycle hum. Interesting.